Welcome everyone to Looking Back Moving Forward the Alumni Connect Chronicle a podcast where we deep dive into the experiences and insights of our esteemed college alumni our aim is to inspire the current students as well as give a platform to the alumni to share their experiences and insights with us i am your host rajdeep and today we are grateful that we have vendrila with us who is an esteemed college alumni along with us welcome to the show vendrila hi hello how is it to be back here after so long great great it feels great after like you know i just came here after a very long time and i met my professors you know it was lovely and meeting you is always great so thank you thank you for having me here i i feel great great to be back thank you so much and it feels lovely to have you back here we are friends since 2012 right yes maybe 2013 2012 13 right 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 yes. and walking back through the gates uh, after so long how does it feel does it bring back some memories of course it does uh, i mean mostly it does when i actually walked in with lot of uh, ambition of uh, actually doing something uh, what i always wanted to do uh, of course this institution uh, it has helped me understand what i'm capable of yes. i came here uh, honestly speaking i joined nshm thinking that i want to become a journalist that was the only uh, uh, you know uh, passion or you can say the dream that i um, had so um, i i'm not from kolkata I, i'm from siliguri i i did my graduation from siliguri so after coming to kolkata with lot of dreams i actually joined nshm thinking that i want to become a journalist because apparently at that point of time i thought that i will do great in that however once i joined my professors actually helped me a lot understanding that right. you know I have another side where I could do or I might do great in terms of uh, in the port uh, portal of uh, advertising and PR. So that was my major. I took took that as my specialization uh, once I finished my first year, and now it's been nine and a half years. I'm in advertising and I'm thoroughly enjoying everything because uh, this institution and also my profession made me believe that the more you see, the more ideas you get. so media is something or uh, this particular portal is something where you need to have lot of ideas right. uh, it's all storytelling at the end of the day so yeah and uh, i am i'm doing it every day i mean uh, i'm doing advertising every day i still feel that i am still a student of advertising right. where i'm learning every day from my seniors and also the people who are joining in new with us i mean there's so much to learn from this generation also I mean, it's it's it has changed drastically, changed a lot, and this so much. And, and see, uh, knowledge is something that, that it's a two-way traffic. I learn from you, and you learn from me, uh, so that that keeps me going. So you said you had a very big influence of your professors over you. So uh, do you have any special uh, memory relating to them that you know uh, something that they inspired you about that allowed you to change your graph from. Uh, where a girl, young girl wanted to be a journalist and then she moved into advertising see i wouldn't uh, specifically mention our professor because uh, b- that won't be fair um, on uh, like you know because i think everyone has contributed yes. i mean there are times who would tell you what what has to be done mm-hmm. and there are times there are people who would tell you what you should not do okay um, in life what is important uh, to you know before you learn you need to earn learn so what you are capable capable of there are a lot of people who will mm. come and tell you what you are capable of but there are very few people who will come and tell you what you are not capable of and what you should not do right. i think i had mix back of both kind of people right. and that actually helped me understand what i wanted to do so this is uh, this would be fair to say that uh, uh, if you had to give a message out to the current mm-hmm. students and uh, we tend to see a trend among them that you know they are running after money mm-hmm. they are running after higher packages in spite mm-hmm. of just being out of the college so uh, having said that i think it's very important to uh, get into a role which makes you happy and then grow from there yeah correct so it's fair to say that uh, uh, what we are seeing currently among the students that they're running after higher packages just coming after coming out after graduation and they're expecting very high salaries and they ending up into a job where they do not have job satisfaction but they're getting the packages mm-hmm. they're able to clear the interview somehow and they're not happy with their life so what you're saying exactly is what i kind of understand and believe is that one should be happy with their job and then slowly grow into it and that is when the money also follows yeah. right uh, honestly speaking i don't completely blame the students i think somewhere they are also conditioned like that because of our society 
Right. Because before asking if you are really happy with what you are doing or not, people tend to ask you what is your people. Yes, page. how much are you that is That is the saddest part and I completely don't blame them. When I see students coming and you know, coming to college and taking admission, saying that placement ka milega, kab milega, kitne ka milega, mm -hmm. I completely don't blame them. However, they also need to understand one more thing that you know, before you asking uh, the industry right. or your college that what kind of salary I'm going to draw after I finish my a curriculum or my uh, graduation or post graduation it is important for them to also know that uh, if they are capable of i'm sure they are capable we all are capable of doing great things in life however we need to hone ourselves okay. before working on ourselves when you're expecting or imposing ourselves you know i need this kind of money however i don't know if i deserve that kind of money okay. or not i would suggest like you know and how i have i i'm not imposing the idea of how i have grown to them however i will suggest them because see at the end of the day we all will suggest and we all can suggest ultimately decision yes. is yours and theirs so in that process i will say first one to two years you learn 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 as much as you okay, can right. take exposure in fact i will say that in college also uh, try and get involved in every kind of activities whatever is happening mm -hmm. even given a chance because I know NSHM is an institution where you being a media student it's just not that you can only do media things you can always go to another department and do an expert things in there I have seen a lot of people and I've seen you also like you know in all our fests also like you know we are popularly known as YCOM I have also seen uh, people like you also coming and participating right. and helping the teams so it is very important so there you know you build relationships yes. and trust me in life you can't do anything alone what is the last movie that you watched don't ask me about that why okay see i i'm 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 going to watch open i want i think that's you still need to watch open i will have to however um i've watched rocky and rani ke prem san I liked it. Right. I uh, what I really like about uh, 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 most of them will not agree. I am sure, but there are a lot of people who would agree that uh, I I really liked how Ranveer Singh has grown in life. Right. And you know what? Why he was a copywriter. He was into advertising. He was working with Leo Burnett Bombay. He was a so I see a chance there for you. No, not so sure. I, I I am into advertising, yeah, but I don't see chance for myself why to not? get into movies. Not at all. <laughs> so. Uh, so there's a there's a saying uh, there's a motto for college possibilities unlimited. Correct, correct. Right. I mean the positive possibilities are unlimited for all of us. Even right. if we are students from our college or not, I think that falls true for everybody that possibilities are unlimited. Maybe I have got other possibilities in my life to achieve. So I watched Oppenheimer I think last week. I and will I have to watch. Really, it. really liked it, and you should. I of course I I must because yeah. I personally feel that I've heard a yeah. lot of. Uh, uh, I mean reviews and to which that this is a movie it's very uh, dialogue he mm. heavy so you can't miss even 5 mm. to 10 minutes of it. Vandila, I have one question for you. Uh, say for example you had to go back to your old self college self mm. girl. That girl who came round from Shiliguri to Kolkata to pursue her higher studies. What advice would you give yourself if you could go back? Uh, firstly, uh, to work as a team, I worked as a team, but then I think I should have worked more as a team. Right. I think I, I, when I go back and now I think that I could have made a lot of great relationships, right. the kind of mm -hmm. relationship I have with you as a friend. Right. I think I could have had much more. Than right. I cherish that, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that is one. And of course, two is I, I wish that I took care of myself more right. because now when I, when I'm growing up, I understand mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, again, so you know, b b one uh, advice that I give to myself, and mm. that is also one of my purpose that I never wanted to be rich, you know, I wanted to be wealthy. Mm. And wealthy is not just having money, wealthy is also your health, relationships, and all that. And I advise this to, to uh, the people who would like to take mm. this advice from me that uh, you must aspire to be mm. wealthy and extremely important to have a purpose in life. And another thing that I, I have followed, mm. uh, and I want students to also follow. Now, once they start, or maybe what the existing students right now, please build good relationship, right. and that will take you too far. You never know. As we near to the end of our conversation, Vanilla, I would like to know: Did you have any embarrassing moments uh, from your college? You tell me your embarrassing moment. <laughs> I can because I'm sure you had many. Uh, from <laughs> from the top of my head, uh, that was the first day of my college. Okay. I had very excitedly taken admissions in the media department. 
Okay, I know this. Yeah. You, you know this, right? Yeah. And I walked into the classroom, sat there for like the whole day, but none of the teachers called out my name. And end of the day, I uh, have the courage to go up to the uh, last professor who was taking the class and ask, sir, why did you not call my name? So, your name is not here in the list. And I was like, I was totally spellbound. I like, what happened? I have taken admission, how come, how come my name is not here? Then I go to the admissions department and, and I find out that I had been enrolled into the BBA. But I think that is where how the At parenting... for a day or a half, yeah. maybe you could explore the coolest department oh my of God. NSHM, right. which is the media department. So yeah, you are and lucky. See, and see, life <laughs> comes full circle. And maybe that <laughs> makes you come here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much for being a part of our podcast journey. Keep striving for the best, follow your passion. And until the next time, please take care of yourself and embrace the spirit of NSHM Knowledge Campus.